Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts. If you've been following our weekend wrench build, you've seen we've already done some upgrades to our interior, including a new stereo, new dash pad, and a new steering wheel. We initially felt our gauge cluster wasn't really in bad shape. With all these new parts around it, now it looks positively worn out. So today, we're going to pop that off, put a new bezel, and a new lens in. This is the bezel and the lens we're going to be installing in the weekend wrench. The bezel has the correct color black textured finish with all the chrome appointments. It has the cutouts for the oil and alternator light, as well as the cutout for your odometer. The lens itself has the two bezels installed for your temperature and fuel level gauge, and also has the red lenses for oil and alternator. For this installation, the only tool you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver. If you're choosing to swap out your regulator, you'll also need a quarter inch ratchet and a quarter inch socket. We're going to start by removing these six screws that hold our cluster to our dash. Going to unscrew our speedometer. Sometimes you get them by hand. If not, you can put a small wrench on there. To remove the cluster from the car, all these wires are going to have to be disconnected from the back. A couple options here. One way, you can label each individual one where it goes. To me, the easy thing to do: take a couple pictures with your cell phone. Remember where everything goes. Okay. Now we can remove everything. While you have it apart, now is a good time to check all your bulbs, make sure there's nothing burned out, or if you're looking to replace them or even upgrade them. Now we're going to disassemble our cluster to replace the bezel and the lens. While we're here, we're going to place a constant voltage regulator as well. This regulates voltage to your gauges to make them operate properly. If the gauges aren't working, many times this is the reason. Now we'll remove the six screws that hold the bezel to the cluster. Get the cluster off. Now I'm going to remove the single screw that holds the retaining plate on. We'll use that with our new pieces. And we put the originals aside. Clean up this plate before we reinstall it. Now we're going to clean up the gauges a little bit, get some of the dust off them before we install our new bezel. Well, we're at it. Our pointers are pretty faded, so we're going to touch them up a little bit as well. Do this, we sprayed a little bit of quick detailer on this brush. It'll streak when you put it on, but it'll dry nice and clean. I'm going to put something behind the pointer just to keep it from getting onto the surface of the gauges. Before we install the lens on the bezel, we want to install these anti rattle pads so the lens doesn't rattle against the bezel when it's installed. The new ones are a little different design than the original, so you just want to place them anywhere where you think the bezel and lens would contact each other to stop it from rattling. We're going to install our new lens in the bezel. Get over the two mounting tabs and then grab your retainer plate. Have on the outside for that. We'll install the single screw that holds the plate to the lens. Now we're going to reinstall the cluster to our new bezel and lens. Again, just line up all the tabs. Anytime you're screwing into plastic, just make sure you don't over tighten, just get them snug. And our cluster is ready for reassembly. I'm going to put a towel of some sort down on the steering column, protect the column's paint, also protect the cluster from getting scratched. You want to access the pictures you took and start plugging everything back in. Once all of our connections are done, we're going to reconnect our speedometer. Once that's connected, we're ready to put it back into our dash.
It's amazing how a simple bezel change completely changes the look of our interior. Sitting in the driver's seat, looks like we're driving a brand new car now. Insulation should only take you around 30 to 45 minutes. You'll be back on the road in no time.